hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is solo please do not forget to subscribe like and also share this video so actress Mvelo makanya went on to her insta live and exposed the etv soapy scandal for being a toxic working environment you guys she said that she did not voluntarily leave the show as she was written off which was a blessing in disguise as it was a toxic environment to her mental health and that had she stayed for longer she could have been more depressed you guys she said one day she'll do a tell all on podcast and chill with mcg to expose the toxic working environment that the etv soapy scandal really is without wasting your time please check out the rest of that video do not forget to subscribe i'll see you on my next one you know it's been like really crazy like you know it's been the craziest thing um and i feel like things are cool that i've been the one that's been catching all the fucking smoke with these people like ah oh she left the job it, it wasn't me guys it wasn't my choice in church they wrote me off <laughs> that's the truth <laughs> that's the truth like actually like i'm so like i realized like i was thinking about it actually the other day and i was like actually fuck it i'm so tired of of it being me like i'm the one that's catching all the smoke i'm the one like oh why did you why did you it wasn't me it wasn't my choice <laughs> it was god's plan though i'm gonna tell you that for real because <laughs> i'm in brain <laughs> but it wasn't my choice if you can understand those two different then you show your a man you could see choice big na say um buzz if you can understand that, brother, of the ocean, I'm peace. But yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> um, are you ever gonna be acting? Yes, definitely. I am still gonna continue acting. I am gonna be doing other things, guys, behind the scenes. Like there is so much more to TV, guys, than just being on screen. Like there's behind the scenes where the money's, where the real money's at behind the scenes there's no money in front of the screen there's zero money like sexy ends up because you know passion passion is the one thing that will drive you and i love what i do guys if there's anything that i love i love acting yo put me on a stage any day and i will give you a performance of a lifetime i love performing but also in the same breath i do have other passions that i want to pursue and this is the right time, you know. Ah, man, that sucks. La Potina was saying, "Why aren't they saying? Uh, why aren't they saying?" It was guys, and that's the thing. Like with people, is that it's not my choice. Me na onga wenza ugu ting signi contracts ugu ting story suge sini ma wenza injani. It's not up to me. You get what I'm saying? Like me na wamu ugu ting act. All I all I could possibly do in the end was just act. <laughs> was just act. That's it. But. It was not my choice to leave the show. <laughs> it was them. <laughs> we will talk about the why one day, but we'll definitely talk about the why one day. But in in Angela when we would see. Actually, like and also like I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting comfortable now talking about it. That like actually, why am I protecting them? Like they owe me anything. Or like I owe them anything. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Yo, they decided to kill your character like that. Yes, I'm just saying. Yes. About the industry, guys, in Fundi saying when you are very vocal and you speak out on things. <laughs> yeah, sure. But the industry, it's, uh, it's not for the faint hearted. It's not for the faint hearted. Definitely, it's not. Aibo, how can they write off the steering? They did. <laughs> And uh, more than anything, I think, guys, like, for me, it's it's not even like, oh, my God, it's so sad. This was something I prayed about. So when it happened, for me, it was fine. It was like, mm -hmm, God, you're so hilarious. This was, for me, it was an answered prayer. I've been wanting to leave. <laughs> been wanting to leave that place. Yes, says you. Yeah. Yeah. Yom Velo Askisi. It's not a thing, guys. It's really not a thing. Like, you know, like, it's for me, it was something I had been praying about. So when it finally happened, it really felt like God was really removing me from that toxic, toxic environment. I'm sure I'm going to put my books in. 
I probably would have killed myself. Probably. Like, there was um, an 80, 90% chance. That's how toxic that place was. <laughs> it wasn't nice. It definitely wasn't nice. I will, guys. Like, I definitely do believe that God will give me the platform one day. Like, it's just, obviously, it's not the, like, not necessarily, like, it's not the right time. Like, but it's not the right time. Like, like because <laughs> and those who heard it heard it but um god will give me a platform one day where we will we will tell the whole truth we will tell the whole truth and i'm not the only one smiling <laughs> it was funny it's not funny like no one deserves no one deserves to go through the shit that i went through like no one like, I don't wish it upon my worst enemy, you know. So, God will give me that platform one day. This this is not the platform, you know. But we'll be able to tell our truths one day. There's so many of us. There's hey, a, a handful. People that have their own stories to tell. This industry is fickle, guys. It's very, 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 very fickle. So when you get into this industry, it's very important to go and why you are doing why you why you're doing what you're doing and why you're in it. You know? It's very easy to get lost in in the south. They found you at the right time when you were ready. In Jalo Kesana. In Jalo. And I, I'm a huge um I'm a huge and a firm believer of divine timing. God's timing is everything. God's time. Yasmina, I had been praying to leave that place for, I think, a good two years. I think a good two years. So, God's timing is everything. I believe in God's timing. Genuinely, genuinely. You know. Um, I actually believed that you decided to quit. <laughs> because, because it makes... The narrative is better when it's like that. You know and also just like it brought me peace like it brought me peace to not care also like oh it's that like for me like it's been the funniest thing like to watch you guys make up all these different stories ha! me madness um, madness and i'm very certain i i have a very good feeling with this story i have a very 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 good feeling but okay, that's a story for another day. <laughs> One day, I'm going to go podcast and chill with McChu. <laughs> um, why did they do that? Was it for the storyline to progress? I have no idea. You can ask them. You can ask them yourself. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I do. <laughs> I mean, I do. But like, I don't want to be political and I don't want to be... I don't want to be funny. Yeah, I don't want to be funny. I want to treat this with the utmost respect that um, it deserves simply because it brings me peace, you know, like, uh, but you can ask them genuinely, like you can, you can ask them, like, was it because, you know, the storyline had to whatever. Um, but the reason I was given was that, yeah, I just felt it's time. <laughs> Go get the real money. Guess you see, it's uh, see ready for you. Honestly, I'm ready. I'm ready. And also, like, Guna Lento, guys, we industry, right? Where people think because they've given you the platform, because they've given you the platform to showcase your talent, they think they've made you. <laughs> hey, Uncle Luku and Lami are so funny. Um, they should have removed Ndomiso or not you. No, I'm trying to know I love Angela. Angela is my favorite, favorite, favorite human. And also, guys, like, why is it, like, who, like, who, who should it have been? It should have been me. Why else, what, why must I think, oh, it should have been someone else? No, it was my time. This is what I prayed for, you know? Yes, I understand it for what I, for what I am saying and not, for what you guys want to understand it 
um it was not my choice but it was definitely my prayers um i mean i might just buy again guys let like mp20 it's in the school has oh put together that thing i learned it from auntie where someone will tell someone something ne? then they have the baby cool my best make this in that way we have to nasty pigger paying us in the so i like it in gym you treat things the same let people talk it's whatever it doesn't change the price of bread it doesn't change my life it's it's life you know <laughs> mm, they will black you they will blacklist you from the scene what's meant for me will be for me what is meant for me will never miss me guys like what's meant for me will find me People love thinking they are gods. We're not gods. And that's the problem. Like, we're so scared to speak out because of exactly that. Oh, I'm going to get blacklisted. I'm going to get whatever. We must talk. We must talk. How else are we going to be the change that we want to see in this industry or in life in general if we don't speak against injustices? Senzenjan. Church. But I believe they opened other doors for you that they never that um they never thought they are opening. They didn't open any doors for me. If you can t t tell me the doors they opened. They gave me a platform, yes. But there were no doors that were open. I lost more jobs, if anything. <laughs> I lost more jobs, if anything. And say party in the hall. And fuck yeah, you can act, girl. One thing about me, like I job show, I have a God given talent. And that's one thing I do not take for granted. I don't take it for granted. What is meant for me will always find me because this is a gift. It's not, I didn't just wake it, it's a gift. This thing that I'm doing, I do it to heal people. Don't tell me anything. We will find a way. And we are going to be the change that we want to see in this industry. That's it. That's it. And this is all, guys. This is all, right? I will fight it till the end. I'll fight it till my grave. I will fight it till my grave. That's it. And I will always stand for the truth. One thing about me. If anything, it's just because I'm a little bit. Would you ever work for the production company? For which production company? That one? No. No, no, no. Could never pay me enough. But you look so happy at that industry. What industry? I'm in the industry. In the, you mean the production? Yeah, guys, you make, you, you make happiness for yourself. Like, happiness is a choice, so you make it for yourself. I was about to say that about the podcast. Hey, Mzak Mekchi. Nimchal Mekchi. Good thing. Funako podcast in chill. Am I getting married? Apparently, that's the story you guys made. Apparently, what's you? I mean, I'm leaving my job because they ain't They think they own you also. That's the problem. Mina, no one owns me. God owns me. And then, yes, who's a banane kulumo after this live in Gazi? Who's a banane kulumo? Who's a banane kulumo after this live? played your role and i really did guys it was an exceptional 10 years and one thing guys like you know we manifest things like see like sometimes you say things not knowing that it, it like because the power the, the tongue is so powerful like you say things and then it'll manifest itself out for me guys i always said and i remember i think it was i think it was like the uh, 10th anniversary or the uh, 20th anniversary or something like that and i was like i think two three years in or was it like a year after high school i think yeah i was 19 when they had that uh, party whatever whatever and they were celebrating whatever years of the show and whatever and whatever and i remember saying to myself at the at the thing in my bob that 10 years 10 years max god like 10 years 10 years is all i want and god gave me that so how can i be mad i'm not even mad you know like it's just that that is just like how can i possibly say something right and manifest it pray about it and then when it eventually happens yes it's not happening the way that i want it to happen it's it's happening abruptly because also guys have you not noticed like when you're about to leave something or leave like a certain thing start happening jay like when you're about to like 
when great things are about to happen in your life, up. And I feel like that's exactly what happened. So I I can't be mad. Like I can't be mad when this is everything that I prayed for. <laughs> you sound angry. I sound angry. You don't know me. How do I sound angry? I'm just expressive. You see, that's the thing where people ask you questions and you start opening up. Um, I'm literally opening up my heart to you and you're saying I'm sounding angry. No, I'm expressing my emotions to you and I'm expressing everything that I had endured. I've healed. If anything, I'm good. So I understand, Guti, where did you sense the anger? In, in this light-hearted life, this has been a very light, very, very light life. Where did you sense anger? I'm sensing lightness, man. I'm sensing goodness. I'm sensing God's love. I'm sensing my ancestors' love. I'm sensing love from you guys. I'm sensing good energy. So where did you sense the anger I'm not angry my heart is at peace the problem is with you guys you guys love projecting you guys want me to be angry <laughs> that's the problem y'all want me to be angry you guys want me to react in a manner that will make sense to you like ngilalele <laughs> and please listen to me and understand me from what for what i am saying and not for what you want to understand it as you've just proven my point whoever you were that just said that honestly honestly guys people can people can really play god because they have the power to change your life or whatever the case is and they think because now they've changed your life they also have the power to ruin your life no no one has that power god guys no one we have one living god literally one living god some are hypocrites that's why um exactly the rumor for a man do you know how I, I think i figured out how it started because i said to people oh growth purposes whatever but because people were unhappy with the answer that i gave to them people started creating their own thing that their own things that will make sense to them and that's how life is that's how that's how life is <laughs>